In this video, I will discuss the concept of spatiotemporal gene expression. Spatiotemporal gene expression refers to the activation of specific genes at specific times and in specific types of tissues throughout the development of the organism. Spatio, referring to space or location, and temporal, referring to timing. Being able to control which genes are expressed and when and where they are expressed allows the cells of an organism to be specialized, performing different functions throughout the body. While there are certain genes that must be expressed at all times in all cells, there are other genes that encode proteins that are only used in a specific subset of cells. It would be a waste of energy and resources to produce this protein in all cells when it's only necessary to the function of some cells. Along the same lines, there are certain proteins that are only necessary at specific stages in the cell cycle. Being able to control when a gene is expressed limits the production of that protein to only times that it's needed, while also preventing that protein from interfering with processes that it should not be involved in. For example, the appropriate development of anterior and posterior structures in Drosophila, the fruit fly, is reliant on a complex pattern of differential gene expression. This pattern hinges on two proteins that act as transcriptional activators, the bicoid protein and the caudal protein. The caudal protein acts as a transcriptional activator for genes that are involved in the posterior structure development. The bicoid protein acts as a transcriptional activator for the genes necessary for head and thorax development. It also acts as a repressor of caudal protein activity. In embryonic development, the caudal protein is expressed uniformly throughout the embryo, while the bicoid protein exists in high concentrations at the anterior portion of the embryo with a gradient that descends as you approach the posterior end of the embryo. This is a result of bicoid mRNA anchoring on the anterior side of the egg during oogenesis. It is important to only express genes involved in head development at the anterior end of the embryo, while you want to keep the expression of the genes necessary for posterior structures to the posterior end of the embryo. Without this differentiation of gene expression, you would not be able to create distinctly functioning sections of the organism. Because the bicoid protein is concentrated here, these cells are going to be the ones expressing the genes necessary for head formation while these cells will not be expressing those genes. Furthermore, the bicoid protein here will be repressing the caudal protein activity, which in turn means that there is little expression of genes necessary for posterior structure development. Due to a lack of concentration of the bicoid protein here, the caudal protein can be more active in these cells, allowing for the expression of the genes necessary for posterior structure development. This example shows the importance of spatiotemporal gene expression because the expression of the bicoid protein only in the anterior section of the embryo triggers appropriate development of both anterior and posterior features of the fly. In studies focused on bicoid mRNA concentration differences in embryos, embryos that lacked bicoid expression had no head and thoracic structure development because the genes that are necessary for head development were not activated and expressed. Embryos with increased levels of bicoid protein saw the protein diffuse across a larger area of the embryo, causing the genes necessary for head development to be active in a larger portion of the embryo leading to the development of a relatively large head and thoracic structure and relatively small posterior structures. As you can see, differential gene expression patterns allow for the development of complexity in an organism. The study of when and where genes are expressed in cells and tissues can give us insights into gene functionality. If you'd like to learn more about tracing spatiotemporal gene expression, 
check out my video on enhancer trapping.